Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Outdoors. Now, I'm almost packed and ready for this weekend's camping trip uh, to my woodland permission. So I'm going to see if my teepee shelter that I built is still standing after the gales we had a couple of weeks ago. But then just a few nights ago we've had more strong wind again. Uh, so they may have blown trees down. Um, there was some dead standing wood I wanted to use for fires. They may have blown down. I don't know till I get there. But first, what I want to do is a shout out. I have just been on a, a live chat briefly uh, because I wanted to record this, this video for everybody. Um, this is a channel I'm watching. He's been doing live chats regular and it's fantastic. I really like everything he does. Um, he does like, I've got the dog here now trying to join me. Um, he does bushcraft, he do, he's like a uh, viking, um, I've seen him skateboarding the other day and he's a very cool guy and this is his channel, I'm going to try and say it for you, but John Andres Bull Hansen, I've wrote it down so you can check him out, so I'm going to give you this for a minute. And if you wrote that down, go and check him out. It's a, a very, very good channel. So, right, yes, I know you want to cuddle with me. Look, she's here, look, you see? Yeah, she's very cuddly. She was sat on the other chair and thinking, I want to get into this camera action like uh, the other terrier does. But there's a package today. What could it be? I'll, I'll hold it out like this. It's another one of them, isn't it? It's another one of them big ones. <laughs> I know exactly what this is, but you don't. So let's find out. Okay, so I've covered up my my address. <laughs> you can see my name there. So let's have a look. Just as I was mentioning to Bull Hansen, um, this is the old Sheffield knife I have been carrying for three years. I used to carry an Opinel number no. 6 for about 13, nearly 14 years. Um, I love that knife. I've still got it and I, I even bought a second one years and years ago. Um, I used to use it for skinning rabbits and, and everything, sharpening my carpenter's pencils uh, when I'm doing joinery or when I used to be a full-time joiner. Then I found this one and I a deceased relative's garage. They asked me to come and clear out what tools I, I would like because being a joiner they know I'd use them and I still am using some of his tools. But uh, this has like a little metal hoop here which sometimes used to swing round and go under the blade and then you'd dint the blade. So I made some jute twine cordage and just just wrapped it around so it keeps this from flopping round uh, or sometimes if it does go round, it's more likely to hit the cordage, but sometimes it goes between those two pieces there. Um, I did have to do a bit of work on the knife. Uh, originally, I think the, the blade would have been a bit more of a hook. Um, when I originally found the knife, it was something like that, open, so I can tell with this shape as well that it would have been a bit of a, a hook style knife. So what I had to do to get that to close is I had to file away the metal on this shoulder here carefully and then it closes. And uh, it it does have a little eye symbol on there. If I can get that to pick out. The eye brand. I've heard it is a very old knife. So let's have a look. what's in the bag. It's very well padded. Very well padded indeed. Is there a letter? No letter but like I say I know I know what this is. So uh, we've been chatting on emails so let's have a look what's in here. It's about the size of my smile because I know what this is and I'm looking forward to using it this weekend.
you can you can just make out what it says here so wow look at this this looks absolutely fantastic i'm trying to look at it while showing you guys as well so i'll give you a guys a a drive by let's have a look at the back side so we've got a belt hoop here we can put onto my belt and then i can clip it and unclip it so I can leave this on my belt, I'm sitting down having dinner, I can just unclip it. It's a really good strong sheath. Let's pull the saw out and have a look. So there's a little thumb grip here I'm noticing, a bit like uh, Mora knives. You have a bit of a thumb grip so you can grip the saw and pull it back. Whoa, look at those teeth. <laughs> they are huge. They are absolutely huge. Wow, this, this thing is massive. I'm trying to show you how, how big it is, you know. So I think the blade uh, on specifications is a 320 millimeter. You know, I, I, I'd get the Laplander out to show you, but oh, these these teeth, I can feel them just on the tip of my thumb are absolutely razor sharp. So this is going in the rucksack, although the rucksack's now fastened up and I've taken a photograph saying I'm ready for camp. This is going in there and this is going to do all the work this weekend and from now on I'm really impressed with this saw so join me this weekend I've now got a battery pack I did do a film about the battery pack but then I have obviously deleted it somehow off my phone before uploading it um, so I've now got some extra power I can take with me. I'll make sure my phone's fully charged. And we'll I'll be taking the camera stand that the camera's now on. And we'll be we'll be putting this to the test. But it feels quite light, which is nice. And that grip there is it's like a harder plastic here, and this is a very nice rubber grip. And it fits my hands perfect. I love this this bit it comes out here it feels really nice I'm, I'm so looking forward to using this saw oh it's gonna be like a hot knife through butter this is let's just have another look at the sheath yeah it does it does pivot that and a very good good sheath clicks into place and it's secured so look up samuraisaws.co.uk um, I will put details in the section below so check out in there but yes I am very impressed straight away I've been impressed when I've been looking at these saws um, comparing them to different other saws that are similar Yes, I can't wait to get into the woods now and get this tested. It's absolutely fantastic. And sometimes when you see a picture, you think, well, what's it going to be really like? You know, when, when you see something, you think, is that going to be hard plastic or is it going to be rubber? What's the joint going to be like on there? Is one side going to be longer than another? You know, how well has it been manufactured? But straight away, I can see it's, it's quality. It's a quality tool that's judging by looks we've yet to try it and i know by the name of these saws these japanese saws that it will perform and it will perform really well um compared to similar ones that you see on the market 
So, yes, it's great stuff. I'll just zoom in close so you can see the model number on here. You got that? So, let's go to the forest. I've got to wait till uh, tomorrow dinner time. But, oh, good grief. I'm so, so looking forward to getting into the forest. I haven't done a video of what's all in my kit uh, because I've been packing it as tight as I can into the Bergen that came the other day. Now, I have taken off the pockets, the zip side bags from my other Bergen, but unfortunately the zips don't match, uh, so I can't use them. But luckily there is some straps on the side of the Bergen for actual squeezing the Bergen together. And what I've done is once I've packed it out, I've used those straps to hold my roll mats on the side. Excuse me, I just had my dinner. <laughs> um, so I've got my food bag to sort out. Uh, I'll be carrying water in my clean canteen, uh, but making fire with my Ferro Fire Survival Tool, and I'm going to be cutting all the firewood and tidying up the forest around camp with the samurai saw. I'm just trying to pronounce this on the back for you. It's something like Kanzawa. I'll show you that. So, yeah, excellent. So, if you like the uh, other stuff I'm using, uh, we'll be using it at the weekend. You'll see links in the photographs and also in the description. So, thanks for watching Simon Outdoors and stay tuned for when I get out into the woods. So hopefully the teepee's still standing. I have debated on sleeping in there this weekend. Uh, I might do one night in there and then uh, one night in my hammock, something like that. I am taking my hammock. Um, the temperature is meant to be about two degrees, three degrees this weekend. Uh, I am on the side of a valley, so it could be a lot colder. I haven't got a under blanket. And the hammock that I use isn't a DD hammock, and neither is the tarp. They are uh, different alternatives, unbranded from China. And I've had them for about two years now, and they have worked very well. Uh, the only thing I've done with the hammock is change the steel carabiners to proper rock climbing ones, uh, so I know they're going to hold my weight. Uh, the cord that came with the hammock just snapped straight away so I've replaced that with a uh, rope from Alpkit a uh, very thick rope it's about four or five times the thickness of paracord um, I've just got enough in the bag with me I haven't got any spare so I think my spares in the car I'm not sure I've got I've got bits in since we moved in you know in the utility room in the garage I keep a few bits in the car like uh, my bow drill, one of my bow drill kits. So if anyone says, show me, you know, friction fire. Like, okay, yeah, let's get on with it. Um, yeah, so I've got distracted then. I'm just, where was I going with this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that kit. Yeah, so, uh, right. No, I've totally forgot where I'm, I'm going with this story. It'll probably come back to me when I stop recording, but yes. I'm so looking forward to using this saw. It's going to be a total change, you know, because the amount of times you've got to go forwards and backwards. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fantastic. I can't say anymore. I just, you know, like the other day when I spoke to my friend, oh, it does, yeah, it does click in. Uh, my friend James from No Limits uh, Adventure, and I got a big silly smile on my face, you know. Now now I've got a, a bigger smile on my face, though, because I'm going to be using this samurai saw um, to do all my work. So it's going to make things a lot faster uh, using a reliable tool, uh, one that's going to go through wood very, very quickly. So before I start waffling on, I'm talking utter rubbish. 
you can that's Sally that's Sally over there snoring okay <laughs> so I'm gonna go now thank you very much uh, stay tuned to Simon Outdoors and um, I'll see you when I get back from the woods and then I'll upload all my recordings so I'm not using the bit of mobile data that I've got left. So take care everybody and bye-bye. Uh,